Hi there everyone, welcome to another campsite tour 2021. Today we're at the Bakewell Camping and Caravan Club site. Uh, it's a little way outside Bakewell, about five miles, uh, near to the little village of Yule Grave, which I'll show you a little bit of uh, during this video. Um, firstly, let me just show you the surrounding area. Very rural and very quiet. There's the uh, field opposite the entrance. Right, before I take you around the side, let me just give you an idea of the layout on this map. So we start here with the reception, which also has the waste and Elsan point. Uh, then you've got this um, variation of pitches. Uh, these are hard standing. You come up to the caravan storage area uh, and then you can see the loops of uh, pitches. Some are hard standing and there's quite a bit of grass pitches on these central areas. With also the pitches around the back of reception and then this whole field here which I think is used mostly for camping. Uh, it says on here that there are around 100 pitches so a lot of those being the camping and caravanning club will have a lot of space for tents um, and uh, it really is a nice quiet rural location. Right, let me take you around the site. Just on the left here is the visitor parking and then behind the fences here are a set of pitches, grass pitches and in the back there are some uh, hard standing. This is the entrance way in. The other thing just to mention, uh, this is a site with no toilet or shower block. So it has no facilities, but like so many of these sites, they more than make up for that in location uh, and views. But uh, do remember that if you are here, you have to be self-contained. The site for all the waste is here at the entrance, those blue bins there, and that takes everything, and I think they separate that out at the uh, waste site. To the left there is the Elsan Chemical Waste point. Right, we'll just make our way up to the main entrance. A barrier on the entrance here, closed between 11 and 7. That's reception, which is uh, open at the moment. Just to make our way away from reception, turning to the left-hand part of the site, with hard standing either side down here, then we turn up the site. Also just on over here on the right is the motorhome service point. And up here on the left hand side look to be seasonal pitches, all hard standing, uh, nicely levelled off. The site does slope down but these are nice and level. Then we'll come further up the hill to the back of the site. Just up here that gap there is off to the dog walk and then the road follows round to the caravan storage area. But I'll come back down now and take you around the other parts of the site. Just to uh, continue with location, uh, this is in the Derbyshire Dales near your grave as I said, which has a couple of shops and a pub and that's not too far away and then if you look out over there you can see the sort of views you get. Now, all the grass on the left has pitches, uh, some are electric, some non-electric. 
And what I'll do is just uh, cut across this area here. Show you this is the section. It's just behind the uh, caravan storage. This section does slope a little, so you might find you need uh, leveling ramps on some of the pitches here. I'm looking down from another part of the site now. Here's one of the uh, water points. And we'll come back round. You see more hard standing points here. This is a loop of uh, pitches here. It's behind reception over there on the right. And then we'll walk up here. This looks to be more of a tent camping area. And I think those tents behind the wall are a separate setup that the uh, farm here operates. Also, if you look to the Straight down there, there is a gap in that wall, and that's a walk which goes through the farmyard and then down to the local river, which was a lovely walk. We've got some of that on video. But we can look back over those views again. And I'll just take you up to the top of the site. Right, we got to the uh, top of the site now. We're probably what must be one of the best pitches on the campsite, that one there. Looking out over that view. And three benches to look at the views as well. I'll come back down on the top because we haven't seen that yet. That's the just small children's playground, but obviously not being used at the moment under the current conditions. And we're back now to the other side of the uh, storage facility. Right, I've come back down to the uh, section I came up just now, just to finish off the uh, complete tour. Right, we'll just complete the uh, loop. I just see we're over there on the uh, by the wall, and I'll come round here. circuit. Right, I've just uh, stopped off at the top of the site, sitting on one of those benches that allows you to look over the views, which really are fantastic. Uh, you're probably here, or not here, how quiet it is here. Um, and it's in a lovely location. The Entrance in is a little bit uh, narrow, some of the roads, but uh, nothing untoward. Uh, and then you really are in a place where you can walk straight from the site. Cycling is great because the roads aren't very busy. Or you can get out in your car or van and visit some of the sites in the area. So we've got Chatsworth House, which is some, um, looking at uh, the information from the campsite here, eight miles away. Uh, Haddon Hall, which is five miles away, 
the Heights of Abraham, which we have visited before, you may have seen some of that on the video, and the Critch, I think it's Critch, Tramway, which is 14 miles away. So there's lots of places that uh, you could visit. And of course, there is always Bakewell itself and other towns and villages in the area. So I'm just going to turn the camera around and give you one last view of the site. There we go. A nice, peaceful, relaxing setting in the Derbyshire Dales. So I hope you found that useful and look out for our next campsite tour very soon. Bye for now, everyone. Bye. Bye.